Well, let's see if you remember how to do this. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in full media, brainstorming and assessing resources, part two. In today's episode, we've been reflecting more and more on what does composing in full media mean, and we thought of more resources we needed to double check that might be available for us to use. And by composing in full media, so far we continue to mean ideas, sounds, images, words, motions, movements, and feelings. And our kind of little physiological mantra is up here that in the womb, um, the first two things that can be observed in us as human babies is seeing, responding to light, and moving, which you might call dancing. And then shortly after 18 weeks, hearing, responding to sound, and around 26 months, uh, weeks, the lungs start to move, which could be said to correspond to singing and a song. So these are kind of the physiological things that happen to us as earliest stages of human beings that then evolve into musical things and moving things and ideas and words and lyrics and so forth. So that's what we mean so far by full media. We also realized that we need a focusing thematic meme. And we thought about what we'd done in previous work. For example, the war ballad ended up having blood on the snow and then green sprouting from the blood on the snow. The pulse story was uh, personas and publics and wisdom teeth as we emerge, our personas emerge and vary like wisdom teeth, and we jump in and out in our closeness of relationships with each other, which we call quantum jumps. And then we end up using a bumblebee hovering back and forth between flowers to kind of represent uh, those things. That was Pulse Story. And then just completed was the shadow was our theme, that which cannot be seen that we know is there. And along with the shadow is the bright and the shadow sonnet. So we brainstormed a little bit and we, we tried to look up some pre-written poetry and things. And we also have been listening to pre-written pieces of music. We played some of that for you last time. One of the pre-written things that we do have is what we call the 3443R. And this is kind of a special scale. <laughs> this is actually a hexatonic semi-parallel scale. <laughs> It's semi-parallel because it has a D-flat with no reflecting note. Nevertheless, today, we dutifully worked through and updated all the available chords to be worked with. Everywhere you see gray shows it cannot be reflected. And that's why it's semi-parallel. It's parallel because there's a minor and a major. There's a C minor and a C major. That's about it. Nevertheless, we went through and we updated. We did have a pre-existing tonality reference area for it, as well as this reference sheet, and we've updated them all to look in accord with this one, which you may or may not remember we used last stream. There's quite there's quite a bit of difference as you listen. Here's what the minor major sounds like in the from last stream. So it's right there in the middle. There's a little weird, strange thing going on there. And then if you look at the minor major chords, well, in this, from last stream, we had an embarrassment of chords. We had six minor, six major, and then we had 14 full tonality chords. With this variant, there are no tonality chords, none. And everything is either a minor or a major. Interesting. And here's what some of the minor chords sound like. Mm -hmm. 
And here's what some of the major chords sound like. Like that. So we did that. And and we think we're interested in working th with that because the little the little piece we were playing at the beginning comes right out of that scale right in here like that so we'll see so so that's kind of to us exotic and raga ish and that was the theme we've sort of been trying out so far spicy spices and things what we think we really want to do is um, we think we want to write something new compose something new animate something new so that's kind of the key thing that we get out of all this and of course we usually try to end our series with um, playing something uh, and we just did so that concludes today's stream thank you for your time and attention and interest uh, tune in next time to see where we go with this uh, are we going to stick with the raga are we going to stick with exotic east are we going to go to pumpkin pie spice tune in and as always keep on streaming <laughs>